Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Day. Hope you like this uh, little obscure country you may have heard of called the USA. All right, so here are some small extra notes about the video or things we forgot to mention in the video. For one, I forgot to mention that the USA has actually quite a few micronations. They make fun little tourist traps. You can even buy like their currency and stamps. I don't know, it's, it's funny. Another fun thing, uh, we invented talk shows and reality TV. Why spend more money hiring writers when people can just make good t content and you could edit and chop it up? Also, I forgot to mention Israel in the friend zone. Obviously, everyone knows that the USA and certain European countries like Germany, they played a huge role in the creation of this state of Israel post-World War II, and the USA also is home to the largest Jewish diaspora in the world, more than the entire population of Israel. And finally, yes, the video was kind of super long. I'm sorry if some of you guys were a little overwhelmed. Of course, I understand this country better than any other country I've ever done, so of course I'm going to have more of a personal insight and content to add to it. In that regard, though, I'm going to be a little honest. One of the reasons why the videos are longer these days is because I took your suggestions. You know, over time, my subscribers were like, how come there's no food segment? How come there's no sports segment? How come you don't talk about the music? So I gave those suggestions segments in the show i listened to you guys and i gave you what you wanted and now some of you guys are like oh the videos are too long so it's like even when i give you guys what you want it's like i, I can never win so now i'm just like you know what i'm gonna make the videos how i want and you guys are welcome to come along for my ride the tickets are free that's it in any case uh that was long-winded let's move on to the flag shall we without further ado <laughs> Fun fact, I almost considered singing the national anthem in the intro, but then I heard my voice and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I can kind of sing though. I'm not that bad. I'm just like, I'm just not good enough. Also, thank you to all the American Geographer peeps that sent in video submissions to be in the what is an American part. I couldn't include all of you. There are too many of you guys, but I also wanted to portray Americans from all over the country with unique perspectives on what an American was. And a lot of you guys kind of repeated similar answers or a lot of you were from the same place. Like, I think I got like eight people from Colorado and like I needed to spread out the demographics. Also, I wanted to showcase the distinct linguistic communities like Hawaiian, Cajun French, and like Spanish for Puerto Rico. So. I wanted to show that the country has many cool, unique cultural pockets, and it's not just all English-speaking cowboys like a lot of the world assumes we are. We got a lot going on. In any case, let's move on to the flag, shall we? So the flag of the United States is a banner with 13 alternating horizontal stripes of red and white, with each edge at the top and bottom ending with a red stripe. In the upper left hoist side is a blue canton of 50 stars in nine alternating rows of five and six stars. The colors in themselves also have meaning. The white signifies purity and innocence. The red, hardy and valor, and the blue symbolizes vigilance, perseverance, and justice. Otherwise, the 13 stripes represent the original 13 colonies, and the stars each represent a state within the Federation. Keep in mind, throughout the years, we've had quite a few different flags, mostly because every time we got a new state, we had to add a new star to the flag. So it's been updated like 26 times since the original inception. Originally, we had the Union flag, which was basically the same thing as the British East India Company flag, which also inspired the Hawaiian flag. It's, we got rid of the Union Jack and put in the stars. That's the long story short. In any case, let's move on to the seal of the United States or the Great Seal. And keep in mind, it actually has two sides. Let's talk about them. For the front side, the seal includes a bald eagle with the shield depicting the colors and stripe configuration of the flag, but with no stars in the blue part, but rather the stars are in the mullet. That's what this thing is called. Above with 13 of them, obviously symbolizing the 13 original colonies. The eagle holds a scroll in its mouth reading E Pluribus Unum or out of many one. In the eagle's left talon, our right side, are 13 arrows, and in the right talon, our left side, is an olive branch symbolizing a strong desire for peace, but the country always being ready for war, but with a preference for peace, hence why the eagle's head is turned left towards the olive branch. On the other side of the seal is the pyramid with the eye of providence. The eye of providence symbol is a fairly common motif that dates back to the Middle Ages and Renaissance, which has roots in Christianity, symbolizing the trinity of God, hence the triangle, and the eye of God watching over the people. To explain this seal, former Secretary of Continental Congress Charles Thompson, who co-designed the seal, wrote, the pyramid signifies strength and duration. The eye over it and the motto allude to many signal interpositions of providence in favor of the American cause. The date underneath is that of the Declaration of Independence and the words under it signify the beginning of the new American era, which commences from that date. And yes, I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, there are a lot of conspiracy theories about this seal. I'm not even going to get into it. I'm just saying what Charles Thompson said. Whatever you guys 
guys write in the comments, I am not responsible for. I'm just reporting back what the guy who made it wrote. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the vexillology and heraldry of the United States, which means uh, we only got one more thing left to do. Geographer fan mail time. Huh. Okay guys, welcome back to Fan Day. As you know, we always have to have a guest star. Who better for my home country's episode than my mom? How are you, mom? Hi. What do you, you saw the USA episode, right? I did. What did you think, what did you think about it? That's fantastic. Uh, okay guys, so here's the deal. It's been a while since we've done this and while we're waiting, we got a lot of postcards. I, we can't read all of them because it's going to take way too long. So I'm just going to quickly say a thank you to each person that sent a postcard. Thank you, Molly, Halifax, Nova Scotia. We got Ralph in Toronto from the UK. Thank you. I think your name is... Stratford. Thank you, Jennifer in York. Jeff in Via Hoyosa, Spain. Two postcards from Seattle from Jaime from Mexico. Amy in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Eric writes this from Kentucky. And I just want to highlight a really cool postcard we got. Bill, who went to Comoros. So with that, let's read some letters. This is from Jack from Mechanicsville, Virginia. That's an interesting name for a town. Dear GN team, I wanted to thank you all for the content that, ha that you've been producing for so long. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? No, I have not but mom you've been to Niagara Falls right I went to both of side American way and then Canada way that's really really beautiful yeah my mom's gone to some places that even I haven't gone to like you've gone to Yosemite right mm -hmm. my mom's kind of adventurous she does things by her she, you don't need me who said I, I, don't need you. I don't need you I'm useless I know <laughs> That's my mom. Rwanda. I went to Rwanda to see the mountain gorilla and the golden monkeys. Very beautiful. But what most impressed me about Rwanda is it is clean with no trash. Very little corruption. A working education system and an actual working government. Man, Bill, you're so lucky you got to go to um, Rwanda. This, uh, I actually just went to Equatorial Guinea and I got to uh, meet real chimpanzees. Oh, so dangerous. Yeah, they're very strong animals. Greetings from Tartu. Discovered your channel a couple months ago. I think with the Ar Armenia episode. Right now I'm watching the Iceland episode. And then he says, P.S. The guy who stole your friend's shoes. Oh. <laughs> He's talking about Jonas. <laughs> Jonas is doing much better, actually. Uh, yeah, he he uh, yeah he got some new shoes. What was what was that? So Jonas's house got robbed. Oh no. So yeah, it it was kind of terrible, but uh, but yeah, man, thank you for your concern for Jonas. Yeah, he's he's doing better now. My name is Nicholas. I am from the Munich in Germany. Currently in Tashkent, uh, uh, Uzbekistan. I was hoping for the uh, Uzbekistan episode to come out before my departure. Now I am re-watching all the other excellent Central Asia episodes. He uh, he sends this uh, Uzbek som. Me and my mom might go to Uzbekistan for the Uzbekistan episode. Mom, you want to go to Uzbekistan? We'll see. If any of you guys are from Uzbekistan, hit me up. Let's uh, start opening packages, shall we? This is from Everett from Michigan. Fago is a Michigan pop. I love how you say pop. It is Michigan. Okay, Fago pop. By the way, we say pop because we're from Minnesota and you're from Michigan. I like how we agree on that. Cola. Cola and orange flavor. I try to watch what we eat in this household. We try not to drink too many sugary things or eat too many unhealthy things, but just a little bit. This one, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm very strict with what my mom drinks or eats. Well, you took a big sip. You're like, oh. Not bad. Okay, good. Now no more. I'm gonna throw this away. <laughs> Look at him, he's very controlled. I'm just saying, I don't want you drinking or eating bad things. We never, you never know. Behind you, I'm drinking everything. Oh, really? Are you? <laughs> are you behind my back? You're drinking a bunch and eating? Oh, that's why you hang out with your friends all the time. Uh -huh. Oh, I yeah. see. That's why you want to get out of this house. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me your secret, mom. Singapore? Oh, Singapore. Okay. Tupperware. Tupperware. Oh, this one is a lunchbox. Yeah, it's like a lunchbox. Thank you, Aloysius from Singapore with no letter. Gabriel from Switzerland. He, yeah, he just sent us a lot of pictures from his travels. Oh my goodness, you write so small and you wrote like 80 pages, but let's see if I can read at least the first line. Dear Jackie Final team, I am writing after seeing the Thrace race and already visited Plovdiv in Bulgaria. What did you think of Bulgaria, mom? Well, that's the one of the place I want to revisit there. Super underrated country. Oh, there's no letter either. Oh, this one has no letter? Your first name starts with J. Kuwait. Kuwait. Oh. Kuwait here. Kuwait. Oh, this is a Shema. Does it give instructions? Oh wait, yeah, no, there are instructions. Look, one, or step two, where's step one? Use your left hand to pinch the Shema about three, four inches folded edge. Uh, wrap around. What? <laughs> I look like I'm a hijabi woman. <laughs> 
I can't breathe. Continue to wrap the Shema around your face head until you get back to the left shoulder. What? I think... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we did this wrong. Well, anyway. It looks nice. I'll figure it out someday. I'm gonna do this big tube thing. Okay, uh, a lot of stuff. I've been watching your channel since the summer of 2018 and do every episode, including Flag Slash Fan Friday. My wife is from Vietnam and we'd love to help out with your Vietnam episode. I'd be down for that, man. I mean, I would love to have Vietnamese people involved in the episode. However, I might also go to Vietnam. We're always down to travel there. Vietnam, I mean, why not go there? It's it's a really fascinating place. Enclosed are the fan gifts I'm sending you, uh, a mosaic poster of my home state of Pennsylvania. Yemen postage stamps. Tuvalu postage stamp with Queen Elizabeth. This is from Chris from Potsdam, New York. It says, Chris, uh, thank you for your work in helping out with the smaller businesses I mentioned. I also included a t-shirt from Aquesane Mohawk Casino. Oh my God, there's a huge shirt. What size is this? 2XL? Oh my goodness. Dude, I am not a 2XL, but uh, if I find someone who is, I'll give them this, but dang, wow. Okay, this one, what's this? From Israel. From Israel, okay. Uh, hi, my name is Jan from Israel, long time fan. A bit about myself, I was born in the USSR and came to Israel as a child with my family, and today I'm a software engineer. Oh, he said there's a... <laughs> The flag of Limberwisk? Oh my God, did you seriously? So mom, this is a fake country that I made up. <laughs> that is insane. Thank you so much, man, I appreciate it. He said, Dead Sea products for your mom. I think that's this. this the one, yeah. facial peeling mask and this what is that? Is. Moisturizing cream, okay. Uh, sweet pecans, onion ring shaped thing. He says it's like a snack. Two 20 shekel bills. I like, I wanna try this. I don't have a sweet tooth, I have a savory salty tooth. Mmm, yeah, I like this one. Mm, yeah. This is good. I like salty, savory foods. Um, no, you don't. I need to drink. I just said it. I'll get you water. No. I'll get you water. No. It's just one more. No, no, no. I'll get you water in the Kuwait this cup. One. No, no, no orange drink. Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> She's so desperate for orange pop. I just had a chips. I need a drink. Then get water. Here, I'll get you water. Water doesn't taste I'll good. I'll get you water. I'll get you. Oh my god. See how crazy she is. Oh my god, she's pinching me. One more sip and then you're done. Oh, okay. No more. Oh, you better not chug the whole thing, I swear. <laughs> no, you had your sip. You had your sip. No, I had <laughs> I'm gonna watch you. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. No more sh no more sugary drinks, mom. Okay, I'm gonna get you water too. Here's your water in a Tim Hortons cup that one of you guys from Canada gave us. Okay, I think there's only one more package left. Let's open it. Christina from Warrington, Virginia. Hey, Barb's and all, thank you for all your hard work and uh, videos to enlighten and educate us. I hope the cookies are still good. They are cream cheese chocolate chip cookies. Oh, they're smushed? Mm -hmm. It's okay if they're smushed. Here, here's Every one. Time I, I had a cookie, I needed some pops. Oh my God, moms! They're still good! Christina, I concocted a couple things to pass onto your group. Oh, she knitted a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's so cool. This is for your mom, a little something, because moms are awesome. It can be a dishcloth, trivet, dolly, toilet, scrubber, whatever you want. Um, little baby gift for Hannah and Ian. She made a little, she knitted an octopus. That's cute, thank you. And a little something for you. I've never made something like this before, and I'm quite proud of it. Oh my God, she knitted Liechtenstein. <laughs> And she put the little Liechtenstein flag at the back. That is insane. Christina, I, I don't know anything about you, but I can tell you are super talented, a very nurturing woman who definitely cares about kids. I really like this Liechtenstein knitted little Liechtenstein. Well, mom, that's it. This time, it's really, I enjoyed it. There's a lot of cool stuff we got. Is there anything you, mom, you want to say to my uh, subscribers? Uh, so Geography now. I'm gonna miss their pop. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys want to send any more pop, make sure it's zero calories, zero sugar. Thank you so much. Sending a lot of good stuff. Especially you. You guys is really appreciate watching his video. Are, are you proud of me or something? Proud of you. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. And cheers. Stay cool. Stay tuned.